Atemporality has begun to elaborate a context around images that obviates the moment and circumstances of their inception in the past, giving them the capacity to generate new meanings in the present. I refuse to acknowledge white male heterosexuality as a benchmark against which I am obliged to measure myself, and I reject the exclusivity of linear time. The Museum of Unnatural History is more concrete poetry than concrete architecture, and existing by persisting in books and magazines among various means a form of intrusion against exclusion and the illusion of collusion between power and great wealth, which by stealth plots to suppress the timely egress of any contrary opinion a catamite's minion might express. Fine furniture and antiques in elaborate techniques are often displayed and portrayed as evidence of great refinement a consignment of sophistication, a vibration from a time and place vanished, banished from the here and now, highbrow detritus that might bite us so that we fear to go near or to continue to hold dear. The paradise parrot was once plentiful across the border areas of Queensland and New South Wales. Louis Philippe was king of the French from 1830 to 1848, a period of time corresponding, more or less, to that during which British colonizers began intruding upon the traditional lands of the indigenous nations of southeast Queensland, whose inheritance included the paradise parrot and the wooded grasslands that was its habitat. The destruction of indigenous populations preceded the clearing of their land, this in turn made possible the large-scale planting of crops, the grazing of livestock, and the exploitation of mineral reserves. These commercial activities generated stupendous personal wealth, in turn enabling the building of grand houses and the repatriation of vast sums of money to the imperial capitals, enriching and transforming them. The massive transfer of what was in effect, stolen property enabled the industrial development of Europe and began the disparities in the living standard and life expectancy that persists today between high and low income countries. The flow of treasure out of land and other assets that were once collectively owned continues unabated. Only now it streams from the coffers of elected governments towards the low tax entities established by large transnational corporations. Louis Philippe was an avid advocate of colonial expansion. In 1848, he was forced to abdicate. The Paradise Parrot was last sighted in 1927 and is now presumed extinct. Like a shadow that has slipped the leash of subservience, the Museum of Unnatural History is more substantial than a reflection in a disobedient mirror. A correction of single-strand narrative received but disbelieved, and we're relieved when they're peeved. In closing, I'm exposing by posing for you just how easy it is to imagine a different world unfurled as a banner, in a manner of speaking, not squeaking or shrieking, but saying out loud how proud we can be when finally set free of the constraints and complaints and the worship of saints.